Hey guys, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. This is going to be my review of the NECA Hornhead Predator. This Predator appeared in the Life and Death Predator comic. He was on the cover, I think, of issue 2 or 3 of Predator Life and Death. And he also turned up in Alien vs. Predator uh, Life and Death, where he took on Ahab for the control of the clan. And yeah, this is a really, really nice looking, really nice looking Predator. The detail on his face is pretty cool just look at that apparently he he's so kind of he's so kind of primordial looking is because he spent a long period of time on a hive planet and he had to adapt to living on a world with xenos so he grew horns and he he honed his skill to be proficient in melee combat henceforth why we have the big huge kind of scimitar like um wrist blades and the very cool, I think this is awesome, the very cool kind of katana he has with some really nice detail. Like, there's, you can see there that there's a section of it serrated. And just the detail on the handle and stuff is it's really nice. I'll just hold it up there close. Hopefully it'll zoom in. Uh -huh. I think it's locked on the Predator, so I'll just move him out of the way. Oh, sure. Yeah, as you can see, there's a section there that's serrated, and it's just really, really nice detail on it. Yeah. Try and hold it up there a bit closer. See if I can catch it a bit better with that. Yeah, see, much better. Really nice detail, especially like that, and the uh, curvature of the blade. So yeah, that works really well with him. And yeah, it fits, it fits into the sheet on his back. He's got a very nicely detailed sheet with like knots and different kind of things there. His armor is amazing. I love the armor. I especially love the uh, insignia underneath his uh, his armor there. And just the, the, the armor in general is pretty cool. The details on the gauntlets is nice. The uh, kind of samurai-esque. Armor, very reminiscent of the Predator, uh, from Predator 2's armor. Um, one drawback is all this, all this fucking blood, blood splotches. It looks like a toddler went apeshit with a paintbrush. But, by and large, it doesn't ruin the figure. It just takes away from the figure slightly. And, um, the thing I really, really do like, and I wish more figures would do this, is he has a removable removable mask? It isn't a case of it isn't a case of changing out the head. You can put the mask on and off, and yeah, I I really I really like that. And again, just really cool figure, really nice figure there. And he has no he has no main tunic. He just has a bare arse there. Well, I don't know. He, he's probably he's probably used to it from living on a, a uh, an alien homeworld. He's like fuck it. I, I fought him barehanded. I can fight him bare arsed as well. But I uh, have yeah, very cool figure. I'm going to try and do a size comparison. If he doesn't fall down. This guy seems to want to fall down the whole time. So I'm going to do a size comparison to some other guys. So I'm going to put him next to the um, the Bad Blood. Neca Bad Blood. Uh, yeah, about the same size. Obviously, they're both Yaucha. So, yeah, both Yacha Warriors, same size, obviously. Next up, we have a very cool kind of grid alien warrior from the McLaren AVP series. A uh, wee bit smaller than the, the NECA series, so maybe not the best for comparison, but it does, it does complement him very well. And lastly, we have poor old Hudson. He's 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 in the worst company, so he's stuck there next to him. And yeah, um, yeah, human size ratio, fairly cool. Again, guys, awesome figure. Uh, really nicely detailed. Uh, the thing that lets it down, I think, is the paint splotching. That effect. It doesn't look like blood. It looks like someone just went mental with a paintbrush. I think they should have darkened it up. But by and large, a uh, cool figure. And if you're a fan of the Life and Death comics, uh, definitely want to pick up. So my name's Martin. This has been the Trash Picture Show. If you've got this figure, let me know what you think of it. Had, had you issues? Are you okay with the kind of paint 
the the paint splotches on the body to make it look like blood or do you think it's a bit overkill or ott and what's the next predator you're hoping to get or what predator that was released recently do you want to try and get so my name is martin and uh have a good one take care bye now